watching Jack Drones. Hi, it's Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to give you my sort of views on what's coming up very soon, the Phantom 4, or is it Phantom X? Who knows? It's going to be revealed on the 1st of March, so keep, an, uh, keep your ears peeled and keep your eyes open on the DJI website. Because I think there's a clock counting down now for how long it is before it gets revealed, so stay tuned for that. And I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of a game changer because uh, I'm sort of comparing now the Phantoms with the Typhoon because Typhoon seems to be very much out there now with the latest technology. So I mean, look at the Typhoon for instance, it's got six motors. We need something with six motors now. Let's go get away from the uh, four, then we've got redundancy. Let's look at object avoidance. DJI has had that since last year on their, obviously their, their um, what you call development drone. Um, now let's make it a standard now, you know, they need to put the game out. From the pictures I've seen so far, I'll put, put them up here, or there'll be a link up here basically showing the photographs. Um, need to be a game changer. I mean, from the pictures that I can see so far, it doesn't look much of a game changer. It just looks like they made the Phantom a little bit bigger, still with four motors. Why the hell still four motors? We should be moving away from four motors to these six, get redundancy in. Um, and again, if you're a professional into Overtop, you don't want to spend thousands on a drone, do you really, at the end of the day? Cause you can spend the same amount of money on insurance to insure it. You know, there's a lot of small companies out there that are doing aerial photography that don't have these large, big budgets. So let's push, I mean, the Phantom 3, for instance, and the 4K, perfect for aerial photography. Perfect for degrading the shots. It does just as good as Inspire would. You know, um, I got Inspire, and I'm fantastic with Inspire, and I also fly a lot of my Phantom 3 at the moment, which is the standard. I get good quality from that. Sometimes some quality is a bit better than the Inspire quality. Depends what you're doing and where you're, where you're filming. But, um, so this, this 4 or, or the Phantom X needs to be better than what, what's out there. I mean, Typhoon, it's got to be better than the Typhoon. It's got to push the Typhoon technology. Otherwise, it's going to be lacking back, and the Typhoon is going to be the drone. And I'm deciding whether I'm going to buy a Typhoon or wait for the Phantom 4X to come out. I'm not quite sure, but the way I'm looking at it is I'm going to go for the Typhoon. Because um, from the pictures and all the sneaky bits that are coming out so far from DJI, it doesn't look like there's a lot on it. And uh, to be honest, it's a bit, bit bigger. Four motors, so no redundancy there. Possibility will have object avoidance systems, which they're looking at like at the top of their legs. So if you look at the pictures, you'll see where, where they are. They don't fold away. So you're not you're going to have the gimbal sit there. Yeah, they've changed the gimbal a bit, made it a bit more robust from what it looks like. That's if that's what they've done it as, but it's not a complete continuous round gimbal. And if it does go round, um, legs can be in your way because it doesn't look like it's got any uh, legs to up up. Look at the Typhoon H, legs go up. It's got a full uh, gimbal. It's better than Inspire. It just goes round and round and round. So you're going to have to reset it back round again. You know, so that, so basically the, the Typhoon's taken bits from the Phantom, bits from the Inspire. I think, well, okay, we're going to put all that together and create it as a nice low budget aero photography platform. And someone to get it. They've done it well. It's a good job, good job there, Typhoon guys. This, the Phantom needs to be pushing those boundaries, needs to be bringing out. I was hoping to have at least C6, but it looks like it's stuck with four. You know, the motors look a bit more bigger, but you can see they look quite taller because um, they're trying to jam bigger motors in, in it, you know, and make it more taller. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look like I'm gonna start looking at building a um, core quad to myself, and do it on one of those, those funding budget things, and let you guys know what I'm gonna do, because I fancy making something a bit unique. You know, I mean, DJI is sort of now pulling back. They need to come forward. So I'm hoping this forward is gonna be good. But at the moment, I'm looking very much for the Typhoon H myself, and uh, the Phantom 4 released on the 1st of March doesn't come with anything extra, apart from you know it looks like a Phantom 3, slightly a bit bigger, more battery power, still four motors. Maybe object avoidance on it. If the legs don't go up, then obviously I'm not. I don't think I'm going to get it. I think I'll, I'll steer more towards the Typhoon H. That looks more a promising one. And it still looks good in the air. And the other thing I love about Typhoons, they've gone from a very ugly looking body to a very nice sleek looking. And that's why I always kept with the Phantoms. Trying to look very much sleek. It's like the Apple product. They always make it sexy and sleek. So when you buy something expensive, it actually looks expensive, you know, and it looks the part. Well, other drone manufacturers tend to really see these nice drones, but the ugly looking bodies, they've got, they've got no shape to it, they're all square and rectangly, cables hanging out, it looks horrible. I like something really sleek, something built. So they made the effort of designing and putting it, putting it, putting it in, and the money that they, they sell it for is worth the money when you look at, look at it, basically, you know. It's got to be tidy, it's got to be, you know, sleek, aerodynamic, all that sort of stuff, you know. So I'm hoping the four or the X is going to be a game changer. I, I'm, and it's got to beat the Typhoon H because at the moment nothing's beating the Typhoon H from what I can see 
on today's market unless you're going to spend a fortune on one. Lisa Typhoon H is six motor standard, object avoidance systems, two levels, so you spend up to just under two grand, which is still cheaper than Inspire, but you're getting a full whack of the object avoidance systems. Follow me features, got all the cable cam type shots and stuff like that. So all that's actually in the Typhoon H. So I'm hoping that the, the four has got a lot to look up, well, it's got, got a lot to look to look out for because it comes out releases on the 1st of March and got hardly what the Typhoon H is going to have. There's going to be a big flop on, on DJI's side. It's going to be a huge flop, you know, but um, we'll see. So it's not very far away. So I hope you like, I'm going to put um, a page up on my website. So don't forget my website link below here. And uh, I'll put a little page up on there showing the photographs that have been running around off the internet for you guys to look at as well. And hopefully, 1st of March, hopefully DJI will be a game changer. If not, it'd be, uh, you know, who knows? Tell me your thoughts, put comments below. Tell me what you think it's gonna be. I mean, from the pictures what I've seen, doesn't look like it's got rotating, um, you know, landing legs that go up. Looks like they're still down, a bit bigger, because the body looks a bit bigger as well. The battery bay is bigger, so it's bigger battery. The is with bigger battery doesn't always mean longer flight times. Depends what they put in there, how heavy the whole thing is, you know, so, but um, very much I'm still, my, my money, I mean, I've saved quite a lot of money at the moment, and I'm putting it towards the, um, the Typhoon H, unless DJI can change my mind on the 1st of March. We should see anyway. So I'll leave it with that, those ideas. Let me know what you think about whether I should design something on a, one of those open projects, put some funding up. Maybe try to design something nice and sleek like the Phantom, but put a little bit more tech into it. Be it'll be actually be interesting to do running a project like that. It'll be interesting to see if I can get, raise the funding for it and get it done. It'd be great to get involved with design, build, um, programming, creating something new, you know, bring something to you guys, maybe. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I love the idea with that. So we should go. But don't forget, guys, UK Drone Show in December. Uh, I'm actually got a stand now. Stand's confirmed. So I'm getting all my paperwork sent off to them. So I will be at the UK Drone Show. So you want to come and meet me. I have all my T-shirts. I have all my um, mugs and stuff. I'm buying a lot of stock in now, stocking up towards... Christmas now, so I think you guys want t-shirt wise, let me know your sizes, what t-shirt you want, all my stuff's up on my website, so remember the website link below here, and mugs and stuff, and I have a lot in stock, so I'll be selling stock right up to Christmas, and when it comes to about sort of December time, well say, say, say October, November, say November-ish, middle of November-ish, if you guys want to pick your t-shirts and um, cups up, or any accessories I sell on my store from the UK Drone Show, and you want to pay beforehand, then also we'll set up a web page for that so that I can get all the stock in, I can get all the pre-orders in and I'll bring them all down to you and you can pick them up from the UK Drone Show as well. So I'll get all the links up soon. And the, the Drone Show is quite not quite sure what's happening at the moment, but as soon as I get the details on what's who's going to be there, what sort of stand's going to be there, how, how big the hall's going to be, blah, 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 then I will let you guys know as soon as I know and as soon as I'm allowed to, to let you guys know as well. So it's a big thing. But uh, they're in back in there. I think they're in Farnborough this year. Farnborough um, Air Show, uh, I think that's July time. But again, watch my channel. I'll keep you up to date with all that stuff as well. So thanks guys for watching. Put your comments below about this Phantom 4. I'd like to know what you th guys think or what, should be, or what should be on the Phantom 4 or, or what you expect to be on the Phantom 4. So until next time guys, fly safe, be safe, and cheers for now. Bye. Hi, you're watching, okay. Hi, you're watching Jack's Drones.